everybody. It's winding down. 2020 Sportsman Show. We're here on the Lord's Day Sunday and uh, it's starting to fill up. It's been an awesome show so far. Yesterday was a bit of overwhelming. We had a huge presence here. Um, tons of people by the booth. If you guys didn't make it this year, be sure to be here in 2021 and stick with us through the day because we're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you, Mr. It's official. Yeah, it's it a is. big one. I said it's like Food Network. Now, if these don't keep you coming back to the show, I don't know what will. This is pretty much why I come. Oh my god. Breakfast of champions. Okay, everybody. Well, last day of the show, we're going to make some rounds. We're going to go down, talk to some people at Gerber, stop through, see some of the other celebs here at the show, kind of give you guys a little comedy and do a little clean sweep of the show. Yeah, see what's on the show last you some day. More stuff. I'm losing my voice, so Jordan's going to be doing most of the talking, but it's been a fun show. Let's go, let's go check some more stuff out. Hey, what's up guys? So we were walking around and we said, hey, let's go check out some new boats. I think you're thinking about getting a big boat. I got the itch. You yeah. got the itch for yeah. a bigger boat? So, so Julio's gonna walk us through 21 foot Columbia here, Aluma Weld. Cameron has this boat in a lot bigger model, but show us a little yeah. bit about what's going yeah, on this one. How big is Cam's? Cam's 25. 25. So, uh, we have 21, 23, 25, and then uh, we have got a couple 27 footers floating around out there that you can special order. Um, but generally, that 21 to 25 is the range that we're going to have in stock. And we got a 21 and a 23 here. Yeah, let's um, check these things out. Well, the beauty yeah. of that Columbia, if I can already almost tell just visually, is the, the side height, correct? The right. way it's built? Right. So historically, you know, years and years, most of the guides down at the coast are going to run like a 23, 25 foot Super V. Um, they had a little bit lower side. So six, seven years ago, we launched the Columbia. Taller sides, deeper V. So instead of a six degree, it has that 14 degree Ridemaster V just shreds through the chop down there right um you know people who go between the two or might have an, another brand six degree bottom they go out on that the columbia and they can't believe how, how much nicer their back wheels and kidneys and um you know i know cameron's clients appreciate the fact that you know you're not especially when you're facing you know facing oh, Cam yeah. cameron you can't tell when a wave's coming so in some of those <laughs> teams, it's just like surprise 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 every time you hit a wave so they've been great um yeah talk about some of the other what's some of the like key features that people are stoked about when they buy one of these. Yeah, so the like in the 20, this 21 sort of cool. I don't know if you can pan in it, but most of them are going to come with three boxes of storage up front. Um, so they have a, a pretty big step deck. So some people really like that dry, dry storage. In this boat, we made it with just the two boxes. And so you get like an extra 14 inches of floor space. So this boat floor space is almost as much as the 23 floor space just because we deleted one of those boxes. So. Uh, you can see like this has a two-thirds fish box in it. It's got somebody's lunch there. Dude, uh, I like that. I like how that's yeah. split. Yeah, so... So yeah. the fish... Yeah, I yeah. like that way better. You keep a filet mat or something on this side. A uh, filet away mat. Keep your knives over there. And you're not getting like all the fish blood sloshing around on that side. Um, but keep it a little bit cleaner on that side. Where people really buy into them is when they go down there to buoy tan or they go out, right. they go out on the ocean. It's just so many of, of the boats of this size, you know, including you know previous Lumewell versions, they're just they're, they're designed to go shallow, and that doesn't translate well to handling super well Big that water choppy water. Yeah. This is this is a tool for that job, and that's why you just see people, everybody, gradually shifting gears and going with something like this. One thing I'm seeing more and more too in the Northwest, and I see it on this boat, is Mercury's. So right. talk a little bit about Mercury and how they've like progressed forward, especially in Northwest fisheries, because at one point you didn't go out without seeing a Yamaha on like right. every single boat. Right. I mean, I have a lot of like dyed in the wool Yamaha supporters that are my friends. And as they get out there and check out the new Mercury's, um, they've been very displacement robust, right? So like in a V6, or a 3.4 liter, and that translates really well to if you're going to use a jet and a prop. That displacement's super important when you use a jet. Um, and then, again, sort of the big game changer is Mercury's come out with that power tiller handle. And, um, you know, beyond just yeah, being it's safer. So he, the, it's so good, guys, that Cameron's letting Mike drive his boat on the on a on a tributary so you know if mike can drive it then that stands up <laughs> well, and, and it'll, it'll drive its uh, you know be careful what i say but it'll drive itself i mean you can let go of the tiller handle walk to the front of the boat and it just tracks because the you know if you're not moving the tiller handle with the actuator the hydraulic pump's not going to steer the motor so you know if, if you hit a log 
um, you know, the log's not gonna kick that motor. I mean, if you have a 225 or a 250 horse prop outboard, just strong arming it, I mean, that's a lot of horsepower just to have in your hand. Everybody knows the, the hand falling asleep and almost the scary situations when you go to reach for your coffee. Right. When that thing kicks loose off your butt cheek and you almost yeah, send I mean, it into the boat next to you. I mean, when, when you have a 225 or a 250 with that, with that prop steer, with that torque, you know, most guys are pretty used to the fact that you've got your hip sort of leaned into that tiller arm to sort of oh, offset Oh, it makes you sore torque. even. Yeah. Like, I'll wake up some mornings and my back feels all weird. I mean, it, it's an incredible right. feature to have. All the guys out here that are watching and probably aren't at the show because sure. this is coming out after right. the fact, where can they find you, like, if they want to come, if they're interested in a boat or a motor or whatever, where do they get you? Sure. So, uh, we're at the Stevens Marine booth here. I work at the Stevens Marine um, in Tigard. Uh, we have a Milwaukee location as well over in Gladstone. Um, you can find us online at stevensmarine.com. I'm on Facebook as, as Nelson, and you can see some of my YouTube stuff as well on some walkthroughs on these boats. So Awesome, Nelson. Well, appreciate your yeah, time, bud. Good to see you again. We're Thanks for stopping on. by. Stick with us, guys. We're going to go check out some other stuff. You're not going to want to miss it. We're walking through the halls, guys. Brandon Nash and Nicole Lewis with McLaughlin Trade yep. and Badass Fishing. Yes. Tell us a little bit. It's the last day. What was the big highlights of the year? You know, the 2020 Pacific Northwest Sportsman Show has just been off the chain. People sometimes think if they've been to one show, they've been to them all, and that was not the case this year. We had meat eaters here. We had Randy Newberg here. We had tons of folks here. We had lots of really new events that we've not had before, like, of course, the meat they eaters. They had Addicted here. They had <laughs> Addicted. Have I heard of them? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Addicted, uh, yes. Oh, Marlon, hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. Of course, Addicted was here and in full force with new products. You guys tons had a of lot stuff. of new stuff. Yeah, we had a whole bunch of new stuff. It was a great show like even yesterday i don't think i've ever seen one of these shows as busy as i saw it yesterday yeah well thanks to these that's guys hard job. work that's your job. we're getting these big name celebrities we'll call them celebrities because yeah. they are they're I in mean, the dude, outdoor the industry your guy steve he had a whole line of people waiting to take pictures with him yeah, yeah. and loophole did a vip movie night and we showed like hunting movies and that sort of thing like we've never done anything like that before so there were a lot of really great events so okay i, got a, I got a question yeah yeah and, and here's to the future yeah what's cool for next year can you give the addicts like some little exclusive secrets well okay so two things so this year the u.s director of fish and wildlife like u.s director of fish and wildlife came to the building so in terms of advocacy i think that we can leverage these moments to get other people here so That's that cool. we on yeah on the angling side on the hunting side can start asking politicians and folks that are in high places for what we want and we can show up and demonstrate that this is a powerful industry right. and that we should have a say and do have a say and you guys are very much a huge part of that yeah. well, so hopefully next year we can leverage that to bring more people right well, instead of it just being a show where you come and shop it builds that community and it allows yes. us to really kind of have power as a people in outdoor sports and uh, bring bring everything back to us, make it better for all. And so next year, I don't know what we have coming, but I certainly can say if we have meat eaters here, and this has been a huge success, we have folks like yourself, you can expect that caliber next year for sure. So do not miss the 2021 show. Cool, yeah, Thank you. let's Ashley. go check out some more stuff. Bye guys. All right, well we made our way over to the Gerber booth. We're here with Natasha, and we're gonna talk about some of the cool things Gerber come out with this year. We've been using all our stuff, of course, the scissors, the pliers, the knives, I mean, everything that we've been using is a lot, of, I mean, it's beneficial. Yeah, we got, a I got sneak peek. we got a sneak peek of some of this stuff at ICAST, yeah. but you're selling some of it now, right? Yeah, we actually, it's been going so well, we sold out of a lot of stuff already. Oh, right. um, yeah, so it's been going great. We've had a, a really good response, especially to um, some of our new new versions of our uh, magnifier. So about these. Yeah, so this is based on the same platform of the magnifier that we um, came out with a couple of years ago. So the design of the handle is actually um, inspired by a motorcycle brake handle. So you have like really good ergonomic grip without having like a rubberized texture. Right. Um, so which gets it's, slimy. Yeah. And moldy so much and nasty. easier to clean. Yeah. 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 So you rinse off, wipe it down, super easy. Um, they are lockable as well. The design of these is actually so the tips do not touch unless you give a little bit of pressure. That keeps the longevity of your cutters um, way right, longer right. than if they start to touch first, then mm -hmm. you start to like lose that sharpness. Um, and then you can swap these so it's rated to cut up to 80 pound braid on these and both of these are part of our saltwater line as well so you get an extra coating 
avoid corrosion on that. Um, but we do have the needle nose version as well as the split ring version. Which we've been waiting for these. Awesome. This, as yeah. spoon fisherman or fisherman in the Northwest, you use split rings a yeah. ton in your gear. So this is huge. Absolutely. And I must say, it's so relieving finally to have some of these saltwater pliers because my entire life, about every two months, I have to either completely submerge my pliers yeah. in WD-40 or go get a new pair. And this is the first pair of pliers I've ever had that I can this use every day. Boat, so. yeah, I can yeah. use them every day, finally. Yeah. So it's so neat having that salt water. What else, you got anything else cool here you can show us? Yeah, so we've got a couple of new tethers as well. Yes. So these the are- The other most important. Yeah, yeah, so you don't lose everything. Exactly. Um, so this is also based on the same platform of the tethers that we came out with a couple of years ago. The new thing on this is that they do have a rail mount. So if you got a rail oh. like on your kayak, um, or your boat, you can mount those on there and they do pivot. So if you want to keep something that's in cool. your boat versus on your person, then that's a really good option as that's well. That's really neat. Yeah. And again, is that probably that same kind of stainless yep, as absolutely. the Saltwater RX? And I've had the same, I've had one zinger on my hip for the last two years. It's one of the only ones I've ever found that that since thread the first doesn't constantly. Yep, yeah. since that thread doesn't break. Yeah. I mean, it's the most durable thread other than just the plain wire that I've ever right. used. So it's, yeah. it's such a relief finally to have something. Yeah. Again, just like the pliers, have something that's not constantly dropping my scissors, my my awesome Gerber scissors in the bushes somewhere. Yeah, yeah. The thread on this is actually really cool. It's Dyneema cable, so it's the same Ooh. material that they make like uh, bulletproof vests out of. So gotcha. it's like nearly impossible to cut it's that. bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank cool. you so much for yeah. having us. Absolutely. Can't wait to get some of these on my hip. Exactly. We need them. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Yeah, How you doing, man? Pretty good, about you? Holy good. heck. If you guys don't come to the show for anything but seeing puppies and eating corn dogs, I don't know what to tell you. I love these little man. They're, oh my God. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it should be alive. Oh, oh wow. What shows you right now? <laughs> and right here we have one of Jordan's old girlfriends right here. What's her name? Uh, Muley. <laughs> all right, well probably the best booth of all for entertainment and a good look at some fish is, is our man Big Dave over here. How's it going Big everybody? Dave's Adventures. Got a lodge in Oregon, run a camp in Alaska. And I remember this since I was a little kid at the show, and it's his ice box full of giant steelhead that miraculously are always caught the day before the, the show, somehow. How do you Happens. do it? Man? I don't know, you know, it, it, it just seems to work out. Right, so what are you offering this year? Uh, well, we've a good our, time. Yeah, we've got our Alaska program. I'm about 110 miles northwest of Anchorage. Fly in, real remote, all small rivers and streams. And we got our place on the Wilson River. We're still in McVay. <laughs> Tide waters, all the rivers, fall, winter, and spring. So we're, well, we're busy all the time. I know we got some stuff planned with you here cool, in the I next month, wait. and uh, we're gonna have a blast. Absolutely. Give you guys a little sneak peek of the fun that you get to have when you come out with this man right here. here so we go. We'll see you in March, man. Yeah, can't thanks wait. for having can't us. Can't wait, guys. Thanks, we'll Steve. have fun. Let's Wider to down. Jordan, Jeff. Yeah. Nice to meet you, buddy. How's it going? You're the addictive oh, crew. We sure are. We're doing a little video thing going around, talking about what's left here at the show for next year. And we thought, why not go over to the steel booth? Let's talk about these jackets. Where's I the sign? Know. I got it. Yeah. We've all been seeing it all over social media, I'm sure. Everybody's down here. You know how to do that? <laughs> You've done it before? <laughs> you ever done it before? <laughs> don't, look at, don't look at the camera. Look at the face. Don't look at the camera? Yeah. You got to get that. Yeah. Got a lot. Go. This is big enough. We don't have to, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, tell us what you got. Yeah, man. well, this is something cool, Addicts, that I saw at the show. And this is kind of, you launched this at the show, dude. So talk Wednesday. a little bit about this. Wednesday. This is the Steelhead Grundens Storm Rider jacket. It's uh, waterproof, seam sealed and taped, waterproof zippers. It's kind of a wading slash uh, standard boat jacket. Yeah. Uh, pockets are up high enough to where when you do get in the water, I mean, how much do you really get in past your knees? Not, Not that much. often, right? Unless you're down there hugging a steelhead. Correct. Yep. Exactly. So uh, pockets are up a little higher. You got about two inches longer in the back, which is cool. So if you're in a boat, you don't have your waders on, you bend over, you don't get water in your ass crack. Nice. 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 Um, you've got neoprene cuffs that this cinch up. This is what sold me on it because yeah. I actually bought one and so did you, right, Jordan? Yep. Neoprene cuffs fold over so when you're standing in the boat all day and that water's not running down your sleeve and then when you 
put your hand in the water to release a fish. You got something to keep the water from rushing up your sleeve, which is nice. A uh, little hemostat clip here, or whatever you want to put in there, bottle opener, depends on what you're into. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much is that? 185. Yep. We wanted to do something under 200 bucks because the average angler, you know, that's kind of the top of the of the budget, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's a gore-like material. You've got a hood that is big enough to go up over your hat, which is cool, uh, but also cinches up in the back and around the front. And to kind of one of the the best things for me is when it's freezing cold, I like to zip up, put it up over my face. And a lot of jackets that I've had that do go up over your face, they don't have a little fuzzy on oh, the yeah, inside. Nice warm, warm little thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of nice so that it does lip. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> rubs your face. Raw face. Yeah, raw so. nose. Uh, there. Yeah. Well, cool. So Pretty I know you were it. selling them here at the show, but yeah. if addicts are watching this vlog after the show, where can they get it if they want to come by? Just go to hhoutfitter.com or steelheadgear.com. We got them on the website. There's a limited run. We're only going to do a small amount of them. We've also got the hoodies that go with it, the hoodies and t-shirts, our wizard fishermen, tour band, metal band shirt. Metal band. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Awesome, man. Well, we appreciate your time. Thanks, Good seeing Thanks, you again. Right on, guys. Go check them out. That's all that's left of the addicted booth. We got packed up. You guys, thanks for the help. What do you yeah. think? Was Killed it. A good it. Show? Thanks, Killed it. Everybody. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Who is that? Oh, that's Clint. <laughs> thanks so much for coming out, guys. As you guys thanks. can see, it takes an army to make this addicted thing work, and we wouldn't be able to do it without all your guys' support. So thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah. yeah. See you. Bye.